hey guys so my battery is kind of dying so i'm going to try to get through this video rather quickly my bag full of empties is like completely running over so i decided to go ahead and do this video so i can get rid of all of the stuff so i'm just going to pull out stuff as they come and the first thing is this uh i keep wanting to say dairy queen dollar general uh makeup remover wipes and i don't know if I will repurchase these again unless I'm like um, being cheap and don't really want to pay for my Pons ones which aren't really expensive but sometimes I just need like really really cheap makeup removing wipes. These are not as exfoliating or don't have the ridges like the Pons one do and I don't really like that but if I'm cheap and I just need some makeup remover wipes I'll probably will repurchase those again. Next is a Studio 35 Beauty 100% uh, acetone, uh, you want to say makeup remover, nail polish remover. I like this, it does really good at getting off the glitter and getting off all of the polish, but I'm really into my uh, Sally's Beauty, whatever the name of that one is, the pink uh, acetone remover because it's better for my nails and it doesn't make my nails turn white or make my nails chip or anything so I prefer that but like I said if I run out of that and I can't get to Sally's or their clothes or something I probably will repurchase it this next thing is something I will repurchase and it's my Nivea extended moisture lotion it's for dry to very dry skin I love this stuff I'm really sad that it's gone I may be able to get a little bit more out of here but this is really awesome Awesome. I use it on my legs and my feet and I just use it everywhere just to make sure that my skin is moisturized this is so awesome um, I love Nivea lotions anyway and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this next in here something else I will be repurchasing if I can stop the bag from falling um, is my Shea Moisture Organic Moisture to Uva, Moisture Retention Shampoo love this as well um, I don't know it's just really moisturizing for my hair I feel that it doesn't strip my hair but it really does clean it this is something I will repurchase this is one of my favorite shampoos ever next is a mini version of the matte cleanse off oil if you saw my Atlanta haul you saw that I've already repurchased this in the full size I love this stuff it does great at getting off my makeup this is takes my makeup off in a breeze it's ridiculous how easy this is and um this was ten dollars the big one i think is like oh the big one i think is like twenty dollars twenty eight dollars or something but it's definitely worth it and you don't have to use a lot at all next is a mini version of the shea terra organics rose hips black soap deep pore facial cleanser Ugh, a lot um i got this in one of my one of my mini monthly subscription boxes I can't remember which one but this is says it's like microderm abrasion in the bottle and I truly believe that because how you use it is you put it on your face where your face is dry and then you end up you leave it on there for what 10 or 15 minutes 5 to 10 minutes and then you rinse it off um, and my face looks so smooth and so it's exfoliated with this I, I don't even have to do any kind of exfoliation and and all the dead cells are gone off my skin I love this it does tingle a little bit when you have it on so you are like oh what the crap is going on and it's not enough to make you take it off or anything but it's definitely noticeable I'm not sure how much the full size of this is but I don't know if I want to be repurchasing it just because I have other facial cleansers and stuff to use and I do get exfoliation when I use my Clarisonic so this isn't like a necessity but I I did like this a lot next is something boring studio 35 cotton balls they're just regular cotton balls and I do like those and if you didn't know studio 35 beauty is basically the Walgreens brand of beauty products it's just their own brand so if you see me talk about studio 35 beauty that's what it is um, I used up one of my favorite makeup wipes the Pond's original fresh ones I've tried the nighttime ones too I think but I love these these are my favorite next is this S dot beauty smooth operator and I actually didn't use this up but I got this in one of my boxes and it's just nasty it's mm, I don't like how it smells I don't like how it feels it feels like slime and it doesn't really have enough exfoliating beads in there or granules whatever in there to make it exfoliate your lips it's just like you're rubbing thick jelly or something across your lips I did not like it so I just went ahead and threw this in here because I'm not gonna use that 
Next in here is a family dollar thing of extra strength hair remover lotion. I use this for my arms and sometimes for my legs because I get really bad razor bumps under my arms if I shave, which sucks. So I end up using this and it gets the job done. Next product in here is a uh, hair product and it's the Twist and Locks Olive Oil Medicated Growth Spray. And um, I have repurchased this multiple times. I think this is my second bottle I am almost through with my third bottle and I'm planning on repurchasing it in a few days when I run out because I love this this is great when I have braids and I want to make my hair not be as dry or when I want to like relieve the itchiness and the stress if I just got my hair braided and it's really really tight this really helps with it so I love this a lot I love the tingling sensation anything with tea tree oil is my <sighs> it's my love. And the last thing is the Josie Moran Argan Oil. And I think I got a sample of this from something. I don't know. But I do like or Argan Oil a lot. It's kind of expensive. So I don't know if I'm going to be repurchasing this or even repurchasing a bigger version because I'm sure this little bit is like freaking expensive. So I do like Argan Oil, but unless I get it in a kit or something or some kind of beauty box sends it to me. Yeah, I'm not going to purchase this. Okay, makeup stuff. I had a whole bunch of mascaras that were just sitting in my drawer for some reason. And I decided to put them in here because they're really old and I need to get rid of them. First up is my NYC Big Bone Mascara. I love this mascara. Um, one of my favorite drugstore ones. The wand is super, super duper huge. So if you don't like really huge wands, then don't use this. The formula was also kind of dry. Well, it wasn't really wet. It was kind of normal to dry. So if you like those kind of formulas, definitely check this out. It gives you volume. It gives you length. One of my favorite. This may... Yeah, I can't think of another one. This probably is my very favorite drugstore mascara. Another mascara that I tried that I did not like that everyone raves about. I don't know why, but it's the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara and of course the black and gold tube. I don't like this mascara at all. I didn't find that it was anything worth raving about. I mean, it's okay. It's just like a normal mascara, but I don't see why people's raving about this. So yeah, won't be repurchasing that. And another one I won't be repurchasing is the, um, I mean I will if I need one, but there are others out there. The fa ugh. the Maybelline, the Fossies Volume Express Flared. I mean, it's okay. It didn't really do anything crazy for me. Um, it didn't make me fall in love with it or anything like that. So, yeah, I won't be repurchasing that. I have a couple eyeliners. The Maybelline Line Stiletto Eyeliner. I like it. It's okay. I'm not going to repurchase it just because it didn't really wow me or anything. I found a, a, a drugstore eyeliner that I love and so I'm not going to repurchase this. Another eyeliner is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. I've had it so long that the name is worn off. I do like this eyeliner. This is one of my favorite and this is one of the reasons I tried a lot of drugstore uh, drugstore eyeliners because I was trying to find one that could live up to this. Only reason I stopped using this is because it dried out on me and it was really hard. The tip dried out. So the tip, like the, <laughs> the tip dried out and so I couldn't get like a point or a wing. Um, with this anymore but I love this eyeliner the fact that it's $20 make me wish that I did not love it but I do um, this is one of my favorite I don't know if I have any other favorite high-end liquid liners that I've tried but this is this is amazing and my second runner-up drug favorite drugstore eyeliner liquid liner is the L'Oreal carbon black linear intense felt tip liquid eyeliner I really really like this eyeliner a lot this is like I said my second runner up it gets really really black and I've just had this for a long time and it's been it's really old and for some reason it's not dried up but it's time for me to toss this out but this is my second one my favorite one is the Rimmel uh, Rimmel Glam Eyes liquid liner it's not felt tip though so if you don't like felt tip then I definitely suggest this one if you can do brush tip then try the Rimmel Glam Eyes because that's really amazing but um, it has a little ball in it that's probably why it hasn't really dried out that much but yeah I love this eyeliner 
and the last thing is my favorite lip balm ever it's my Nivea a kiss of milk and honey and this is literally as far up as I can go like there's nothing in there I love this lip balm I have so many backups of this it's ridiculous I repurchased it over and over and over and over again I keep one in my purse I keep one on my desk I keep one by my bed I love this lip balm over any other kind out there. I haven't tried any that will make my lips moisturize and keep them as soft and smooth as this one. So this is awesome. I feel like I was talking really fast and I'm sorry you guys if I was but my battery is kind of dying and I wanted to make sure I got through this video and also since I had a lot of stuff I really want to make sure that I got through it all without having like a 18 20 minute video. I do not want that because I know you don't like watching an 18 20 minute video. So my bag is empty got a stain down there for something that probably leaked out but yeah i'm gonna save this for all of my other empties but yeah that is all in my empties if you have an empties video leave them down below i love to see what people have used and liked or didn't like because some of the stuff that's really popular like the l'oreal carbon black balloonist mascara some people may not like it like i didn't like it so i always like to see what you liked and what you didn't like and what you used up and all that kind of stuff so yeah leave that down below or just comment and let me know if you don't make videos and i will see y'all in my next video bye guys